are back with your 17 Health Watch. You likely know someone who has contracted COVID-19 in the last week. Hospitalizations and deaths continue to climb with the rate of positive tests in California up 14 percent, the fifth highest since the pandemic began. Dan Kerman now with the latest on a new vaccine and its availability. The COVID summer surge continues across the nation with the CDC reporting weekly COVID hospitalizations up more than 15% and deaths up more than 10% nationally. And though it's significantly lower than a year ago at this time, there's still reason it's ticking up. In hot places, people are spending more time indoors. There's a lot of travel over the summer. Uh, people's immunity from, if your immunity came from an infection a year or two ago, it has waned. If your immunity came from a booster a year or two ago, it has waned. Um, and there are some new variants that are a little bit more infectious and a little bit more immune evasive than what existed before. That's why word the updated COVID vaccine is expected to be approved within days and available within the next couple of weeks is good news, especially for those most at risk. The booster looks like it's going to match up very well with those strains that are circulating, so it should give us very good protection. Even the one we've heard a lot about recently, um, uh, BA.2.86, even that one, it looks like the, the booster is going to be give us a good advantage against it. The CDC will decide who's eligible for the new vaccine. And while medical experts agree those 65 and over, those immunocompromised and those with underlying conditions should be first in line, they say it's something everyone should consider. The benefits of the vaccine outweigh the risks in pretty much everyone. And unless you have had a booster in the last three to six months or been infected in the last three or four months, uh, I think the benefits of it outweigh the risk. For now, though, doctors say those most at risk should consider taking extra steps to protect themselves while COVID is ticking up. If you're going to be crowded indoors with other people, put that mask on. If you're going to be in situations where you're going to be traveling, for example, you know, plane or on a train with lots of other people, just wear a mask. It just helps obviate problems. The weather's still really nice out. If you're going to dine, dine outdoors. Avoid being indoors with lots of people. And that was Dan Kerman reporting. Though some may want to call it a triple dimmick, health experts say we are headed into a seasonal pattern of respiratory viruses. The good news is there are some improvements when it comes to preparation this time around. Health experts say there are new tools available, such as vaccinations for RSV, including an antibody for children two and under. There's also an emerging vaccine for those who are pregnant. Doug Casper with the University of Illinois College of Medicine says vaccinations are how medical professionals prepare for COVID, the flu, and RSV. Where this used to be a, a pandemic where um, things were happening off of calendar cycle or they were ex unexpected, this is much more of a pattern of predictability and that we know that these things are going to hit. It's just that they're going to hit at the same time. And that's where we're starting to put a little more attention towards it.